Hello everyone, this is Christian Gonzalez and it is week five of Anatomy and Physiology 2 at Los Angeles Pacific University. Um, this week's uh, video lab exercise is on uh, respiratory physiology, um, so pretty much what we're going to be doing, um, oh, also, June 9th, 2019, let's do it, almost done with the semester. Um, so what we're going to be doing is measuring uh, tidal volume, um, so in our lab report that uh, I already completed, kind of doing this in reverse, um, you pretty much are looking at tidal volume, which is, you know, air exerted or displaced. Uh, without any extra force, right? So it's pretty much just one breath in, one breath out. Um, so what we have uh, is a stopwatch on the computer right now. Uh, so we're gonna go 30 seconds on, and we're gonna count how many breaths uh, that we do in those 30 seconds, and then after that, we are going to then calculate uh, using this balloon here, um, the circumference of the balloon to measure tidal volume uh, with our handy dandy measuring tape in centimeters, okay? Um, so let's get started. Uh, here we go, 30 seconds on the clock, ready, set, go. Okay, um, so that was uh, eight breaths. Um, I just kind of held my fingers up because I knew it was going to be um, too many. Uh, from there, let's do one full breath uh, and measure this balloon here. Okay, ready, set. Okay, so that was one full breath, this nice little balloon. Um, so let's take a look at what we got here. So we're just going to take this, push it around. Uh, 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 uh. Okay. So uh, as you can see, we're like right at the 45 mark, so 45 centimeters um, for our balloon. I'll let that out, it has a funny sound. Um, so we would then take two more samples and then take the average for the lab report uh, for this one, which just ended up taking um, one. And that pretty much concludes uh, the video exercise for this week. I uh, hope you all are having a good week and look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye.